trop comme ça. What's going on YouTube? My name's Paul Serena is back with another banger of a video. In this video, as you guys can see, I am hovering over the strategies um, menu in the menus. So obviously this video is going to be an updated strategies video. So as you guys know from before, or if you guys seen around Twitter, Twitch, whatever you guys have been following the NHL community by, um, strats were glitched. So everybody was using strats, but they actually weren't the proper strats. So now that strats are fixed, I wanted to make an updated video for you guys because I felt like it wasn't fair from the other video because I wasn't using the proper strategies that I actually used myself as well. And I did not know that. So nonetheless, let's get into the strats and hopefully these help you guys out. All right, so we're going to be starting with our offensive strategies and this goes for everything as well. So for offensive strategy, I use behind the net. All four of my lines are behind the net. So carry dump, I have it about, I think that's 8 out of 10. Yeah, that's 8 out of 10. My psycho slash shoot is, I believe, I think it's 5 out of 10 or 6. I'm not sure. Whatever it is on the screen, I can't really see. To be honest, my eyes are, I don't even know. Um, but for my efficiency and energy, I use 8 out of 10 as well. And then for don't block slash block, I want my computers to block shots. So it is all the way up at 10. And it goes the same for all of my lines as well. I don't change a single thing. They are all the exact same because I I want to I want to use like the same like strategies throughout the game, um, and then if I ever need to switch it, I will switch it up. But usually I do roll with behind the net. All right, moving over to defensive strategies. So for hold line slash pinch, I use middle. For cycle slash shoot, I use middle because sometimes I'll pinch, sometimes I'll shoot, sometimes I'll cycle, sometimes I'll shoot. I mix it up. I don't always keep it the same, and. Uh, I just like to switch it up pretty much and it is the same for all three of my lines as well all right guys now we are getting into our team strategies so for my four check i like to run one two two aggressive i want to be aggressive and try and control the game for my neutral zone i run a one two two red for my trap slash four check i run i believe this is press um but depending on the game i'll switch it to balance or press or neutral zone trap uh, depending if I'm losing or winning or even full aggressive. So full aggressive, if I'm losing late in the game, you I go full aggressive. Press, I usually leave it throughout the middle of the game. Um, and then usually if I'm winning, I'll go neutral zone trap and I want to back up and play some defense and protect the net, protect the defensive zone from scoring is obviously. Um, my defensive pressure, I like to use protect the net. Um, there's nothing really better than this. Like you just want to protect the net. That's the goal of hockey. Don't let them get to the net or they're going to score. Right. So, uh, defensive strategy, I use collapse as well. I want most of my guys to be in front as well as protecting the net as you guys can see here for offensive pressure. I use aggressive for control breakout. I use strong side slant and for quick breakout, I use stay wide. Um, that's it's it's like pretty simple it's i just want my guys to stay strong on the strong side if the puck's there and give an outlet and i always want my guys to stay wide on the breakout so i can stretch the ice and have as much space moving up the ice as well if i need to skate with a player all right so we are now moving over to our power play so our power plays it's the same for line one line two um, pretty much everything so Honestly, I absolutely hate every single power play formation in this game. I think they're absolutely terrible. The power play is just, it's like, it's not a power play in this game. I don't know how to explain it. Your guys just kind of stand still. They don't get open. It's its very weird, but pretty much what's been working best for me has been an umbrella uh, face-off formation. You want to be aggressive. You want to make sure your guys are as close to the puck as you guys can get because you're, you're on a power play. You want the puck. Um, offensive pressure, aggressive again. Uh, carry slash dump. I'm not dumping the puck in, so it's always on carry. And power play breakout, five back. I want five of my guys back. Easy, quick breakout up the ice with speed. Um, for my quick breakout, I use stay wide. I, again, I just want to stretch the ice and make sure the puck uh, moves up the ice. It is the same for my power play line too as well. So we're going to go on to our four-man power play. Again, I'm running an umbrella face-off uh, formation. You want that to be aggressive if you have a power play. Um, again, with power play line two, I'm not sure why it's set to defensive again. It might be glitched, but I put it to aggressive now. But yeah, those are our power plays uh, lines. I've just been running umbrella. And honestly, where your guys go on the ice, it doesn't really like matter, to be honest. Um, like, it's a power play, right? So you, every guy's kind of moving around the offensive zone and trying to get an early and open option as well. So 
Now we are going to move over to our penalty kill. Our penalty kill formation is a diamond. So the reason I run a diamond here is because, as you guys can see, Hughes is in the top of the diamond. And on my PK line too, Heyduke is on the top of the diamond. And as you guys can see there, so I have those two guys at the top. So the reason for this is I put Hughes as the guy that I'm going to control in the PK. So as you guys can see, I have three guys around the net, pretty much in front of the net, protecting the net, Latang, Jokinen, and Tewton. So I take Hughes and I'll take him into the slot as well. So now I have four guys protecting the net on a penalty kill to try and stop every single possible cross, crease, or snipe that's in close and tight. So um, this is why I run Umbrella. I mean, this is why I run Diamond on the PK. And um, literally it's to take my highest forward and make sure I have all four guys in front of the net, not just three, all four guys in front of the net. All right, that wraps up our strats video. I hope these strats really help you guys out. Um, they're more aggressive strats. Um, obviously these strats might not work for you, but they 100% work for me in the way I wanna play the game again. Make sure you guys do know this. Strats are the way you want to play the game. So make sure you guys use the strats that are most fitting for you. Um, you shouldn't be copying somebody's strats because some strats that might work for somebody else, they might not work for you. So, um, but yeah, if you guys want to try these out, feel free. Um, they're more of aggressive strats. So if you're a more of an aggressive player and you like to get that puck and uh, try to be very offensive, I'd say these strats are for you. But nonetheless, this wraps up our strats video. If you guys haven't yet, make sure you guys do leave a like on the video. Comment down below what you think of my strategies. And if you guys haven't yet, make sure you guys do subscribe to the channel. And I will see you guys in the next video. And if you guys haven't yet, make sure you guys do check out all my socials. They will be down below in the description. But I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace, everybody.